go again. I'm trying to shoot this video between the snow plows, uh, plows. And let's talk about Blaise the Vigeneer, who lived in 1523 to 1596. He was a French cryptographer, diplomat and magician. And he worked in click, uh, diplomatic service until 1570. And he worked as a secretary in the town of the Diet of Worms, the hometown of Abraham, who wrote the book of Abramelin. He also worked for the Duke of Nevers, and he was in Rome for two years and came across books like the about cryptography and magic, and especially a stenographia of Trithemius. Vigenier was fascinated by the 72 letter name of God and laid out the seals of the Shem Hamephorash angels in association and their associations in a manuscript found and kept in Paris at the Bibliothèque de la Nationale. And uh, Dr. Rudd used these seals in Goetia and blessed the Vigenier's work was preserved by his disciple Abel L'Angelier, who lived in 1574 to 1610. And then we go into Ebenezer Sibley, who lived in 1752 to 1799, whose sigils I used. Uh, between circa 1750 to 1850, a lot of grimoires were copied, and Sibley was key in the movement of copying grimoires. And he introduced Francis Barrett to magic, the author of the book Mages, a book on ceremonial and angel magic. Sibley was an astrologer, and published a lot of books on that subject and was deeply into angel magic and alchemy. He, uh, to the translated Clavis, he did some additions and he can be found as Sib uh, Sibley M.D. and he was a fellow of the Harmonic Philosophical Society in Paris. He was also the author of the complete il il illustrations of astrology, editor of Culpepper's Complete Herbal, Placidus de Titus on Elementary Philosophy, and author of the new complete illustration of the occult sciences. And the clavis or key to unlock the mysteries of magic by Rabbi Solomon contains sigils, talismans, pentacles, circles, and characters, etc. And uh, this too has been very influential in my life. And they are uploading so many of these, uh, even pamphlets and manuscripts right now up to the internet, uh, especially the um, Bibliothèque um, Internationale de France, or what it was called. And uh, they also found on microfilms. And uh, there was so, during this time, since everybody m were into magic and sorcery in Paris, so there is so much manuscripts and so much to be found on internet that hasn't been written about yet, and uh, it's free to read. So, you who are young, and uh, I had eye surgery, and I was told to stay away off from the internet, uh, since uh, it's um, damaging for my eyes, so I don't read on internet. So I... Uh, stay away from internet as much as possible because of that. But 
this can help you to search and find um, anything you look for. And uh, Sibyl is very dear to me, and so is uh, Blaise de Vigenera as well, and Francis Barrett. So, so this was just a short introduction here, and um, I will go through these traditional authors and who contributed to the old magic that I practice a little bit, just so you have a basis where you can do your own research. I'm having a high fever and my ears are locked so I don't even hear what I speak and a sore throat. So I focus on some simple things right now. So have a magical, magical day and bye for now.